Let's start the raw review. And let's get crazy with your phone calls. Let's do this. Alright, I'm all kinds of pissed off tonight, so let's get this thing rolling, and let's get naked. Well, not that, but... Well, words cannot describe how angry I am right now. Words cannot describe how angry and infuriated I am. Turn the damn music off. I don't even want to hear it. Uh, let me turn the WWE uh, stuff down. Get the damn app. So now we get the post-show stuff. So I'm watching that. In case anything significant happens on the post-shows, I will let you know so that you know. So let's start off right now real quick before we uh, jump into these calls here. Hmm. With uh, the first thing I want to say is Lesnar and and Taker, as we've been talking about for six months now, and uh, I think we saw uh, it was beautifully done. It was exactly as we wanted it. We got what we wanted. We got what we thought we would get. They pulled it off. It was a ten. Lesnar and the Undertaker. It was a ten. Now, why Lesnar wasn't calling out the Undertaker? and The Undertaker came out to respond to uh, Lesnar was something I did not expect. But be that as it may, that's fine. That was the best segment of the night. Everything else was dog shit. Hulk Hogan came out, got me a little bit excited. The WWE app, we're going to talk about the WWE app today. Everything that's gone on with that. Problems with Xbox. I still can't even get into Xbox to, to listen to the WWE app. Um, I'm going to be joined by Chris Tosovich in just a second, my partner. With all you guys and your phone calls, we'll get to them, but I have a lot I want to talk about first. WWE, what the fuck are you doing? What in the blue hell are you doing over there? Do you even know what you're doing? I don't think you do. And I've never been, I haven't been this mad in so long. This is what we got. Triple H with all his little boyfriends, Randy Orton, his boyfriend, Batista, his boyfriend. Ric Flair's probably in the back jerking him off. His boyfriend. All his boyfriends get to have their match. And just like you always do, Levesque, just like you always do, Paul, you have to take the hottest superstar and put him in a match with yourself. And then have that guy call you out so the fans are behind it. You are a pussy, Triple H. And if I ever see you in New Hampshire, I'll kick you in the nuts. But you won't react because you got none. What's up, Tosovich? What's going on? How often are you in New Hampshire? I'm going to be going a lot, man, until I run into that bastard. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what I'm going to do, Paul? I'm going to go to New Hampshire, and I'm going to hire some nice 18-year-old girl who lives around the corner for you to keep putting out ads in the paper uh, to, to babysit kids, and I'm going to hire her to go to your house, and she's going to pose as the babysitter, and then she's going to leave your kids alone. <laughs> She's oh, going to no. go into your house and say, yes, Mr. Levesque, I'll make sure they're in bed by seven. Don't worry. You and Steph go have a nice night out and then you guys will leave all happy to go to dinner. But little did you know, I planted her and she's going to leave your kids alone. And I know one of the kids can't eat dairy. And guess what? She's going to feed her cheese. That's right, Triple H. She's going to feed her cheese. Lactose. Hashtag unattended lactose. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They have a house in New Hampshire, dumbass. 
Just so you know, in case you're you're wondering. Um, uh, no, me just someone else and someone, one of the, we're on live on youtube.com slash Joe Cronin show and spectrum gaming six one seven. We're also live on Ustream, live on Twitch and all over the place. And, uh, we're talking about WWE Monday night raw right now. I think I am so angry. Can, how? Please tell me, please tell me how heel versus heel when nobody gives a shit is going to be a match and it's diminishing the WWE title so bad. There's there's two belts. We have two belts. But guess what? That doesn't matter because it's dog shit. That's all there is. Uh I'm just gonna I'm gonna take a phone call from someone you know and I know and I think he's reporting for duty. <laughs> he is reporting for duty and it is lamb shit. Lamb Holy shit. shit. Standing in attention for you, oh. sir. What? <laughs> nothing. Shit. Nothing. I was gonna know. I was gonna know tell the joke, but then I was like, oh shit, I might as well. Listen to it. What the hell are you gonna say? Let me tell you something. Anyway, what, what do you got? What do you? Th- what's going on? What did I think of Raw? Well, man, I thought it was fucking awesome, dude. I was jumping up and down like a little fucking kid. And when Hulk Hogan came out, when Undertaker came out, beat the shit out of Brock Lesnar. Um. I thought the Wyatt versus uh, Roman Reigns was good, even yeah. though it was interrupted. The way it was interrupted was still fine to me. I thought it was pretty cool. Seth Rollins was uh, the man for that interruption. Yeah, I, Seth Rollins. The that. I gotta say though, man, I am so pissed off. I mean, the, really, this is. Well, yeah, but, I mean, I come mean, on. People get his balls kicked so hard that they fly out of his asshole. I I don't understand. I just I literally cannot wrap my head around the fact that um, yeah, it's a it's like a it's let's say a company makes a product and everyone fucking loves it when they buy it and then the company decides to take it off the shelf and get rid of it. You're wasting your fucking time and you're losing your fucking money. You're a dumbass. I almost feel like they painted themselves this corner and they were like, we don't give a shit. We're doing this anyway. I'm starting to think that it's going to be a really good match, and we're going to shut up after WrestleMania. But I'm still going to bitch oh, until yeah, then. we're gonna we're gonna think <laughs> all all the stuff that we said is going to be wrong. Yeah, Triple H no. versus Daniel Bryan, I think, is going to be an excellent match. I think they're really going to put it it's, all. It's funny put all the stops. Daniel Bryan even says he's like, he's like they're screwing me, you know, which I thought was cool. Yeah, you'd think them screwing him would it's be. It's not cool. just us that acknowledge yeah. that. No, they're finally really acknowledging, and I think they're awaiting till pre-mania to do this and this is all right. clearly premeditated but I just what do you think of the uh, Cesaro versus Biggie that was fucking awesome yeah that was good so much better than watching Cesaro versus uh, uh, Sheamus last night I thought Biggie died from that ne- neutralizer that was ridiculous how about when Biggie yeah. threw himself into um, the post Biggie tried to jump over him and then like um, Cesaro did that uh, backbreaker Biggie Langston straight up speared a fucking post tonight. He destroyed that post, oh, man. Yeah. That that whole match was just vicious. Yeah, I liked it. I like vicious. And I think Emma, Emma, she freaking, she's pretty good, dude. She yeah, sounds good. I don't dude. get that fucking thing she does, but her dance. Yeah, yeah. it's awesome. Stupid, I, hate I, don't, that. I don't even I like love it. it. I'm I, a big fan of of uh, the evolution. I don't like that, but that's okay. People like it, I don't and like the she's dance, good, I like so it's wrestling. okay. You guys gotta watch NXT. Dude, I do watch NXT. Now I'm going to watch it a whole lot when it's on the network. It's so much easier to watch. I'm poor. Let's talk about the network. Um, It's great. It well, is it's, fucking... It's the, right. it's the not work right now. I get it? The not work. The WWE not work. Um, Xbox, it's not working. I can't log PS3, into Xbox. PS3, it's not working. Are you serious? Re- on both of them. I, I, you just can't like, log in is the problem. I can't log they into it. They won't let me get it because I'm poor. And I, I don't, my job, they don't... It's they free don't for a week. Hours. It's free for a week, though. Are you shitting me? Yeah, it's free for a whole week. What are you, fucking blind? Go to the website. <laughs> no, I'm not fucking blind. <laughs> this is what it's come to. This is what you, This is what Jaron did by not being here. But yeah, for, for me, it, it doesn't work on the PS3. I can log in, but none of the videos will load. And then on my phone, which is a Note 3, so it's a fairly new phone, It same thing. I can browse through all the videos, and it'll load the disclaimer before the video, and then it will lag for like maybe a minute and a half, and then say video cannot be played. Wait, where do you get it? Like, if you're going if for your like for cable, WWE.com is the only place you can get it. All right, I'm gonna put someone else on. Let's three, four, seven. What's up? Yep. Hey, what's up? 
Yo, what's poppin', Joe, man? It's me, New York, man. What's going on, man? Oh, New York, man. What's, ha- what's oh, what's happened? Haven't heard from you in a while. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, business stash. You know, turning. So, what's up with you, man? Oh, well, nothing. Just, you know, ready to commit suicide. That's about it. <laughs> oh. All, our, all our worst fears are being realized. I'm realized. ready. Into the phone. Into the phone. <laughs> What did you think? What do you, what do you, what, what's your take on all this? I mean, I know that, you know, most of what we basically said was going to happen has happened. Uh, here, here's my question for everybody. What the hell would CM Punk be doing if Brian hadn't have taken his place? Fighting Kane at Mania, apparently. I guess that was right. Did you know CM Punk chant? That was funny. I actually mean, thought that CM Punk was going to fight Triple H at Mania. No, I think CM Punk was going to fight fucking, um, he might have fought Kane. Kane. He was going to uh, punch a hoe. He, he was going to fight yeah. Stephanie? <laughs> yeah, he was going to punch Stephanie. <laughs> She's the hoe. That's oh funny. Oh, my God. Well, I already knew everything that was going to happen in the Raw. Like, I yeah, it was a little predictable. It. Yeah, man, but um, what's up with the WWE Network? Yeah, I heard, yeah, I heard, I heard that the yeah, PSP doesn't work. It worked pretty good in my boy's house. It worked for really? me for about maybe 20 minutes, and then it started lagging. And then ever since then, which was at like... I'd say it's maybe 5 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, it just hasn't loaded any videos. Yeah, I can't even. Uh, I can't log in. Right now and try it. I can't log in at all on Xbox. That's that's my problem. I can't even get on. So Uh-oh. I mean, I can log on the PC. I can log on my computer, but I can't. All log the in. streaming stuff works for me actually. I just can't look at any of the old pay per views currently. But I'm sure they'll work out. Well, my yeah, thing, it was the first day here. Well, uh, but I'm pissed because it's not working at all on Xbox. I mean, I don't know if there's if it's me. Is anybody? I mean, I can't even log in on Xbox. So explain that to me. Does anybody else have uh, Xbox? Has anybody else been able to get on on Xbox? No, nah, I haven't tried Xbox. No. All right, I so it's heard a, anybody about it. Okay. All right, good. Then that's fine. As long as I'm not the only one, I'd be pissed if other people were. Right. Um, but th- that's a big deal breaker because that's how you watch uh, Mania on the big TV. So that thing's got to fucking work. I don't have a smart TV, so. Xbox or PS3, something's gotta provide me with uh, the pay per view, man, and that thing better not crash either. No, you gotta give it time. It's gonna be up right. by, by like next week. It's gonna be officially up next week. Yeah, see, the servers to maintain the opening night, just like a, a video game, they don't buy the servers for that. They buy the servers for what they think their audience will be on a consistent basis. They don't provide the servers because they'd be buying they all these... They should talk to DDP. DDP had this unlocked. Yeah, yeah. B- what the fuck is wrong I with them? You're right. I understand why it's lagging, though, because so many people are getting it and shit. Yeah, I mean, everyone's hopping on, like, 3 million people probably. And you're right, DDP, DDP knew what was up. He was like, hey, this is what we expect for the servers, and here we go. Uh, but nobody else gives a shit, you know? Uh, so I'm glad yeah, he yeah. did. DDP did a great job uh, by doing that. But uh, anyway... So the Undertaker Brock Lesnar segment was awesome. I obviously was fucking phenomenal. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, Leah was like, "Oh, he didn't really stab him with the pen." Was, I was like, "It was great. It was unexpected that way he, well, he stabbed him with the pen, and then he choked." I I knew he was gonna choke something after that, but right, like with the pen that was weird. Like it was it, awesome. It was kind of weird. It was like when uh, McMahon I thought did it would have been Hogan. funnier if Brock Lesnar, after he finished signing it, just whipped the pen off of Taker's face, just bounced it off his bean. <laughs> How good oh, would it have been so if Lesnar got stabbed and then Lesnar was like, ah, and he like let out that fucking scream. Or if you guys chopped off. Oh, yeah, well, that scream. would be that would be nice. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Lamb, lamb shit, I mean, here's the thing, though. I mean, are you an Undertaker fan? Hell, yeah. <laughs> See you later. Undertaker, the Don. Undertaker, top three, top three that are alive, man. Yeah. Well, what up, Joe? Hey, the Don is on with us as well. With uh, it's, it's pronounced Theden. 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 Uh, yeah, yo, fellas, man, I gotta, I gotta call you back, man, because I got a rock bottom my chick, man. She's getting on my nerves, man. Oh man, rock bottom her and then fucking. And then take her down to Jabroni Drive and give her some of the pie. Start eating the pie. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no, definitely, man. I was going to sacrifice it to the price, but I'm just going to do it my damn self. <laughs> All right, you man. know, you know, guys, take it easy, fellas. All right, man. All right, man, you're in them. All right. Holl- Joe. Holl at your bitch for me. What's up? Uh- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great goodbye. 
Uh, Joe, what's Joe, up? for the first time, for the first time, you can actually see why CM Punk left the company. Yep, you can see it. I know why he left. He was gonna fight Kane. They told him how this Raw was gonna go, and he was like, "Oh, yeah. all right. Well, I don't need to be." He was there. like, "Fuck this. I'm out. I'll see you guys later." And I was, I was, I remember I was watching one of his um the Best in the World DVD. He like he complained yeah, to. You can see it. I know why he left. He was yeah. gonna fight Kane. Oh, nine five six. You're on too. Oh, there you go. You're yeah. gone now. <laughs> I, I just yeah. wanted to, I didn't know who 956 was I didn't recognize it so I always put someone new on right away but anyway continue I'm sorry yeah it's alright um, like I remember I was watching his Best in the World DVD and I remember he said he used to go to complain to Vince he said this is not right, right. and now he, Vince is like is like screwing him over again <laughs> yeah no I agree um, yeah but and for the first time on Raw, the the beginning and the ending of of a segment was the only was the only good thing of the show, and and probably only one match between um Seth Rollins and uh, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns and um Bray Wyatt. That's no, Antonio the... Cesaro versus Biggie Langston was a good match. Yeah, that match was good. Yeah, that was a good match. That was a good match. <laughs> but the rest, I didn't I didn't care for. No, no, you're right. The rest was garbage, and it was weird. We were uh, so excited I, for this. Roger. I was very excited I, for tonight. It was I, stupid. I, I, ju- I just couldn't wait. I just couldn't wait for um, Undertaker. Good. That's the only reason I wanted to watch. I really wanted to watch Raw tonight. It, it was, was so Hulk, Hulk, Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan, and the Undertaker. Yeah, that was it. That for me, that was the same thing. I just wanted to see Hogan come out. That was fun, uh, and then it was over. Uh, yeah, but, but with, I felt like it was too short, though. Yeah. Well, what else is he gonna do? I mean, I'm glad it was. It was exactly <laughs> what I wanted it. To Great be. answer. Uh, well, at least he never rip off his shirt like he usually do. <laughs> but but uh, let me get to uh, uh, what do we got here? Uh, Squidman twenty three. Let's do some YouTube comments. As a Canadian, I am happy to announce that I will not be ordering WrestleMania thirty. I may stream it just to watch how the shit happens, gets thrown in the ring. But that's it. Triple H is not as big uh, that's, as that's his the, huge ego he believes. I don't know. Yeah. So Triple to, H. To be honest, the only match I'm I really want to watch right now at WrestleMania is the Undertaker <laughs> versus Brock Lesnar. That's the only match I'm interested. That's it. yeah. Same here. That because that's the only actual match that's real. None of the yeah. other matches are correct. That's why it's yep. the only match you want to watch because it's the only match that makes sense. Does Orton yep. versus Batista make sense for the WWE title? No. Does Triple yeah, H? Even versus... though I'm a Randy Orton fan, I I don't I don't even like that match. No. And Batista and Batista's tattoos all, of, all tattoos all over his back and his arms look like someone look like a kid just took crayons and, and or marker just drew all over. Him. Me and my cousin were I saying he you. looks like someone made a creator wrestler and gave him every tattoo available in the game. Uh, yeah, no, right? <laughs> no, he looks. He looks like he fucking. He, he likes Japanese um bicycles and shit like like because uh, c- fucking Yamahas and stuff. And he's like, I want to look uh, like that bike. I want to look like that a, car. Or a, or a goose bike. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, all right, let's move on to some more fucking comments here. Like, uh, what's up, Monica Jones? I love you. Thanks for being here. You can always come by. There's you can always drop going by. down the toilet. Why right. doesn't Monica call in? I don't know. Maybe Monica will call in someday. Thanks for being for hearing lamb shit. Um, this WrestleMania is going to the toilet right now. <laughs> it is toilet. I am so disappointed. I am so angry. I mean, this toilet flushing sound this, effect for the show. And by the way, I'm, this WrestleMania is so terrible. I'd rather watch John Cena versus The Rock Part Three. <laughs> Well, uh, that I would be that just far. as bad for me. <laughs> um, all I know is we're better than the Raw Post Show on the app. It sucks. It might as well just be the yeah. Rock versus Batista for the title. Yeah. Yeah. This is the title is just a picture of Triple H's face. It's just they look alike. My anger just, I mean, is uh, is through the roof. I'm not even like, you know what I'm, I, uh, guys, I gotta say. Well, hold on a second. Let me get this. Uh, let me get this out of here. There we go. But it, it does. I think the only reason why they put Batista at the title shot because. You know when he made that walk, um, the DVD I Walk Alone DVD, he did say he wanted to be, um, like the undisputed champion. So they obviously got to give it to him because of that. Yeah, because when the movie comes out, they need to cross promote. He needs to yeah. walk around with the belts. Yeah. Well, but I can't. I don't know. He's not the same Batista as he was before. He's just not. He gets tired too quick. It was like <laughs> I don't. I don't know what's wrong with him. Yeah, he was so out of breath during I his never promo thought he was good. Match. I never liked him when he was here before, so it doesn't. I I never I, liked him. Like I I liked him when he like I liked him because I was like a big I was kind of a big fan of him, but uh, I was more always an Undertaker guy. I always mm. been an Undertaker guy. Well, here we go. Thanks for joining us. By the way, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to the phone calls. All right, Don. All right. All right. Keep it hard, buddy. <laughs> 
All right, so this is what I've come up with. Are you drinking uh, Sutter Home wine? I am drinking Sutter Home wine. Excellent. I'm trying to calm myself from the anger that I have because of this shit that WWE is doing. So what I have here is a piece of bread. Um, this is what I've been doing to calm myself. It's a ritual. I haven't really s talked a lot about it. I've kept it close to the chest. I haven't really, you know, wanted everybody to know about it. But this is what I do. <laughs> so what it is is I eat this bread furiously and uh, angrily. And all the anger and everything comes out of my face and my body and my bones and transfers itself into the uh, activity of the eating of the bread and kind of just fades away into non-existence. And then hopefully I have cleansed myself of the demons. <coughs> so I'd like now to show you um, with this process. You can do this at home. It's kind of like DDP <laughs> yoga, but it's like my own, <laughs> you know what I mean, type of uh, cleansing here. So I have this plate of bread. So here I go. This is the ritual. I'm just going to try to put the mic down and... Try not to make fun of me. This is, I'm going to go into, I'm going to ignore you for a second. I'm just going to go into my zone. This is, you can do this. You just need bread and a plate. I love smell. JCS bread, much like DDP yoga. And then you say, God, but you don't eat it. Don't eat the bread. You gotta keep it in your mouth. <laughs> and then you gotta release it. Release it out to the world. Get it out of your body. Is it supposed to go into your lungs like that? Um. <laughs> Um, I didn't work. I'm still fucking pissed. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck it. It doesn't work. But I already bought your DVDs. It was a fake. It was a lie. Oh, God damn it. Can I get a refund? No. No. Oh. I saved you. I sent you your copy for free. <laughs> it didn't work. I'm still pissed. <laughs> Can I still get a refund? <laughs> Can I send them back and you'll pay for the shipping? Oh, man. I thought that would work for sure. I've been doing it. It was working before, but now it's it's come to a it's come to a head, I think, where I'm just too angry, you know, for it to uh for it to for it to work. Anyway. Oh man. Anybody who doesn't know anything about me and just saw that is like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> 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 I'm just watching the, the YouTube. thing is you tried. Yeah. I'm watching the YouTube comments rolling like that was really funny. You're um, a yeast infection in your lungs now from all that inhaling of that bread. I'm pretty sure I already have <laughs> some kind of infection right now from the fucking disease that I have. I wish they chanted for uh, Del Rio more tonight. It would have been great if people just did a 180 and really just started. It was a little bit, but not as yeah. much as last night. What what else happened tonight? I mean, I'm so angry that I don't even know what to do. I don't know what to say about this. Um, I know what to say about like guys like Brian Anderson, who was like begging basically to get attention early tonight by tweeting stuff like, "Ha ha, enjoy WrestleMania. I'm gonna love WrestleMania. Batista and Orton is gonna be awesome. Ha ha, you bunch of whiny Daniel Bryan fans or something." I was like, "Yeah, congratulations. Nobody agrees with you. Like, yeah, you're a fucking idiot." So um, by yourself. It doesn't matter. Even if you like Batista Orton and, you, and you're laughing that, that Brian doesn't have a match or whatever, even if you, you're doing that and you're laughing and you're doing all that stuff, um, it, it doesn't matter because this fact doesn't make sense. This guy's a heel, and nobody likes him that much, but he's a heel. <coughs> he's a fairly popular heel, Randy Orton. Uh, and this guy comes back 
but is a heel because everyone's booing him and doesn't want to see him. And now let's put them in a match together for the WWE Championship. I mean, what kind of match is that? You can't someone do... someone must care about this. There's got to be a demographic out there that cares about this. Why else would they be doing it? They no, what they thought someone would care about this is got to be. I know, but be... they they've been continuing with it, so they have a marketing department. I know, who ca- I know who cares about it. Who? Fucking Triple H does. Triple H <laughs> cares about his buddies being in a WWE main event together or whatever. That's the only reason behind it. This is how they got Batista to come in. And they figured, well, they're both going to sell a bunch of T-shirts anyway. We'll put them again with the title. But well, what if they flip the script and Randy Orton turns face before WrestleMania and Batista turns full heel? I don't think that's going to happen because I think people are just mad. That would save it they're gonna, a little bit. I don't think I think people are going to boo both of them. A lot of people like Randy Orton as a face, um, especially depending on how he turns face. <coughs> It's possible, but I think both of them. Uh, I'm I'm sick of both of them, so I've been sick of them. Right. Well, it wouldn't it wouldn't make up for Daniel Bryan not getting a shot, but it would at least make it not booed out of the building. I I said that these two were going to be in WrestleMania against each other, and I hoped that it would happen. But I did not expect it to be for the title. For the title. And had this Batista win in the Rumble thing not happened, then Batista would have been this big crowd favorite. See, it would have made more sense. Batista would still be the would still be the fan favorite. He would wrestle Orton, get his big pop, and they would have a match, and it would be great. He'd sell a bunch t- more T-shirts, and then Daniel Bryan would be in the main event, and he would blow the fucking roof off the place. But now you have Daniel Bryan still going to blow the roof off the place, but he's wrestling Triple H, um, and then Randy Orton is going to wrestle Batista. But nobody cares, and it's for the title, and people are going to boo Batista instead. Is there any way they can both lose and the title title gets vacated? No. How how is that? No. (coughs) The only, I mean, there's there's no way out of it. This is what they're doing. It's got to be. This is what they're doing, and that's it. So, um, face Orton isn't going to do it. That's why we were bitching that we had to have Orton turn heel again. And Orton turns heel again, and people are kind of sick of him. And we're like, well, Orton's still kind of... So Orton might be able to work at pulling off number one heel. He might be able to do it. Maybe. And he was getting close. But now Batista's come in, and everyone's stealing everyone else's energy because it's all fucked up. And not because the fans are cheering for the wrong people and hijacking the show, Mr. Aaron Rift. <laughs> Fucking no IQ. And that's what I'm calling him from now on because he has no arguments. He has no fucking comments back. He just writes no or don't agree or fag or <coughs> deleted or whatever the fuck he does. I never go deleted to people below. I actually have a, I actually respond to people unless they're just being like, fuck you, cunt, die. Fuck you, cunt, die. Um, otherwise, I respond to people and have a conversation. But people like No IQ um, and uh, Brian Anderson... Brian Anderson, who thinks the fans are hijacking the shows and ruined Raw, ruined Royal Rumble and everything. You know, those guys, he... Well, Brian, I, I'm Brian done. Anderson explained himself a little bit better. <laughs> you haven't seen what Brian Anderson's been running all over Twitter tonight. He's a, he's, he's a fake. Oh. He's a fake. That That's all there is to it. He, he, he's not real. <laughs> no, he's not. He's not real. I'm pretty sure he faked Photoshopped a tweet that Mick Foley sent to him. He said Mick Foley inboxed him twice. I, I think it's fake. And I think he just wants attention because what he writes you is calling fake. him out again. No, I'm just done with him. Not calling him out. I'm not even having him on. Nothing. I think he's fake, and that's it. You can't say the things he says unless you're being paid to for the by the WWE, and you're fake. And he just wants people to read his articles. So now I've gone. I'm done because you can't be real. You think Batista and Orton is the best thing ever at WrestleMania, and Daniel Bryan. Ha ha, Daniel Bryan, like, you know, you fans, like, you, you don't fucking, you don't know what you're talking about. I don't care who you like. I don't care if I liked, when I liked Shawn Michaels or when I liked Stone Cold, when when either one was a bad or good guy or whatever, say they were bad, bad heels, and I wanted Stone Cold to wrestle, uh, you know, fucking name a heel back then, I don't know. Uh, so it's like you want two boring what? heels to wrestle each other, like, the fans are booing Batista. So nobody wants to see Batista. The fans are booing Orton. He's been a heel, a snivelly little bitch of a heel. 
but let's put them against each other. That It just does not make sense. I don't care if you like the match and you're happy and ha-ha. You won't, that's your response is ha-ha, take that. No, you're not a real person. You're just fake. You're just trying yeah, to make people... Yeah, at this people... point, the match, the match needs to change. Like, one of them needs to become a face or one of them needs to become more of a heel by WrestleMania. Right now, saying, yeah, I'm happy with the way it is as it stands. That's That can't be. Who, who, who thinks like that? He does because he's not. it's not real. And that's what it is. <laughs> Uh, go to youtube.com slash Joe Cronin Show, my actual YouTube. We're about to hit 2,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for that. Click the like button on your device if you're watching us now or on the PC or wherever you're watching us from, and stick the thumb up my ass. Um, Jesse was telling me about uh, Undertaker's beard. Je uh, Undertaker kind of looked like a fucking like a bird or something tonight. I don't know what the hell he looked like. <laughs> it looked a little weird. His makeup was, like, done wrong or whatever. But uh, it was still awesome. It was the best part of Raw. Second part for me was Hulk Hogan. Um, John Cena may be injured. First, every every website was saying John Cena's injured. His knee is injured. He's all fucked up. Um, but now... Yeah, it like a war. yeah, but then they showed him going in the ambulance. So it was like, well, well, wait a minute. You know, this this does seem like I a war. I think that was, just to keep, that was just to keep him away from the main event. Well, the, the actual main event. They are... Uh, uh, Roman Reigns match. That's a good point. Yeah, because otherwise it makes sense for him to want to run down to the ring or whatever. So right. rather than make him look like a pussy or whatever, he'll, he'll get injured, which mm -hmm. I guess doesn't kind of contradicts that. But, you know, he gets injured <laughs> and he can't be there to fucking, you know, go right. after these guys. So, okay. Because the Wyatts did kind of start two feuds simultaneously. So they kind of had to push one to the side to let the other one t take the spotlight. I was convinced. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty convinced now that the... Shield may not break up on, at by WrestleMania, um, because I thought tonight was the door open for, for when Reigns said, "Don't come down, don't help me, don't do any of that stuff." I got him, you know. I won't have my guys come down. You don't have your guys come down, and I thought for sure Dean Ambrose was going to come out there and do something stupid, and then Reigns was going to be pissed. He was he he did that yeah right on move when Seth Rollins helped him out, so he wasn't upset with them coming out to help him. Yeah, and then the only thing was Dean Ambrose did cost him the actual match itself, but it was arguable about whether or not you know Luke Harper was supposed to do that very thing. So yeah, they they kept it shaky on purpose, like you said. So it's hard. You're right. It's hard to tell how soon it's going to be. Yeah, they planted the seeds, and they're they're, it's it's on its way. But how soon will it be? Is a good question. Right. Right. Well, I don't know, man. I'm I'm just so I'm so lost right now. I'm very down on Mania. The only thing I'm excited about is the network right now. That's yeah, the, which I is mean, pretty exciting. It, I mean, it's almost like WWE is like, here, look at the network so we can be fucking idiots over here. <laughs> I mean, that's what I feel like. Uh, the first thing, you want to know the first thing I watched tonight? What's that? Everybody, the first thing I watched tonight, I went back on WWE to watch CM Punk come out and say, time to die. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking laugh my ass off. I was like almost coming. I was like, oh, I got to watch it. I got to see that. Because there was only one shitty version of it on YouTube, and I didn't save the pay-per-view. So l watching that was hilarious. I thought it was Hell in the Cell when he did it, but it wasn't. As I watched Hell in the Cell, and he came out and said clobber in time, and I was like, wait a minute. In fact, I can't think of which pay-per-view it was now. Maybe Night of Champions or something? I, don't uh, even, I forget which one I don't it was remember. exactly. It must have been like uh, TLC maybe. I don't know, he came out and said time to die. It was funny as hell. He screamed it. If you haven't seen it, go uh, watch it on the WWE Network. Watch. Uh, it was one of the pay-per-views after Hell in the Cell, right before CM Punk's entrance. He comes out, and uh, he, for some reason, he was a, he was going to wrestle uh, Paul Heyman and Axel, right? Is that what it was? I'm pretty sure, yeah. So then he screamed time to die, and it was it was goddamn hilarious. If he, if he beat Axel, he got his hands on Paul Heyman. I, think <laughs> I just what it was. can't wrap my hands around heel Orton versus booing heel Batista against each other for the WWE title belt. This would be like um, going back in time to like WrestleMania 9 or 8 or something and being like, well, bad guy Kurt Henning that nobody likes is going to wrestle, uh, you know... Marty Jannetty. No, not Marty Jannetty <laughs> even. Like, like bad guy... Kurt Henning, uh, Mr. Perfect, is going to wrestle bad guy Ric Flair, you know, just for no reason. That would be an entertaining match, But though. it would be good. But you're thinking about it now. It's hard to think about it like this. 
I'm trying to think of like two guys who this would like, like like Lord Tensai or something. Fucking Tensai versus uh, you know Alberto Del Rio. That's what it's like to me. I mean, it's just like two guys that what? That's a good one. They're booing Batista. Nobody wants to see him. They're legitimately kind of mad at Batista. So Batista, and we we're booing Randy Orton, and Randy Orton can't be a good heel unless he's fighting a good face, and. We're just booing both of them, so let's put them in a match together for the WWE World Heavyweight title. The title is diminished to shit, and nobody cares about the match. Why the hell is that a match? Please. Something's going to make it more interesting between now and then, I guarantee it. And uh, and I'll tell you what would have been good if Punk had stayed. If Punk had stayed and wrestled Sting. Hmm... I think, don't know about that. Think about it. Just add it. Add it to everything else that's going on. And on top of nothing, it, CM nothing Punk against Sting, Sting uh, but it's I don't know. It's from what I've it's seen. Better, it's better than Punk versus uh, Kane. Is it? <coughs> yes, Sting. Just for the name, it's better. Oh yeah, for for ticket selling purposes, but no, I'd be. I, I would be very interested to see Sting come out and then wrestle Punk. Now, what would happen in the match? I don't know, but. My interest would be peaked. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm just saying my interest would mm. be peaked. I would be very interested in that. It could turn out to be shit. It could turn out to be decent. I'm, I'm upset we never got Sting Bret Hart. Or did we? Well. In, in WCW, did we? No, we did a little bit. A little bit. Not much, but a little bit. But not on a WWE not, stage. Not a, that would have been a great WrestleMania match. Right. And not on a big stage, I don't think, either. Fall Brawl, maybe? Or was it just Nitro? Maybe just Nitro. I think it was just Nitro, yeah. Uh, and it wasn't even booked properly. Oh, I'm sure it wasn't. It was WCW. Everybody thinks WrestleMania is going to suck now. What do you guys think? You think WrestleMania is going to suck? Leave it in the comments. WCW uh, mayhem. <laughs> Somebody wrote. Um, a lot of other people think CM Punk would be awesome for this thing. Um, the One new, person said everybody's, that. Not a lot of people. Uh, what are you talking Somebody about? else wondered where the new belt was where the new WWE belt was, and we've said this a million times. Post-mania. And I, and I will say it again, like Chris said. Post-mania, maybe even Monday Night Raw after Mania. The only thing that would make Daniel Bryan versus Triple H a little bit better is if they did, like, Triple H says, you beat me, you can have your title match tomorrow night on Raw. You know, the next night on yeah. Raw. And if you lose, you're out of the WWE or something. Or you get a match that's exclusive on the WWE Network for the title, and he wins the title on the network <laughs> to boost the network ratings. <laughs> That'd be weird. Um, no, I'd take the next night on Raw. Think about the crowd on Raw the next night. Think about that. Well, yeah, they can that. film it then. Like, say after Raw goes off the air, everyone has to jump on the network to see if Daniel Bryan wins the title, and he does. Then everyone, from then on, would always watch the post show on the network. I mean, I, I like the post show thing, but I definitely want, I want Raw. I want it to happen on Raw. Right, me I'm too. I'm telling you. I'm just saying. It's... But I'm just mad that it's come to this, and they couldn't figure their stuff out sooner than this. I mean, it's, yeah. it really is ridiculous to me. I, I don't care if, if you're like, well, this is the way. I mean, I, I'm really sick that we sound like bitches every week. That we really, we really do. <laughs> and I'm sorry. I'm not too upset. I, I am angry. I still have I faith am, that. <laughs> I am angry. Up, Very guys? angry. What's up, Matt? Uh, How you doing? Four star, you guys know you're you know you're dead on Spectrum Gaming right now, right? No. What do you mean we're dead? But uh, I gotta say, the night show didn't live up to the whoa, hype. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What do you mean we're dead on Spectrum Gaming? I'm on YouTube.com right now. I pulled up the live feed on you on your on your YouTube channel, Spectrum Gaming, and I'm getting the error message. Uh -oh. oh, really? Everybody's in here, and I can see the feed myself. Maybe it's just my crappy laptop. Oh, good. I hope it's just your laptop. <laughs> I hope you have a crappy laptop. Please don't. This, please don't. This thing isn't being fully paid off yet. Oh Jesus! It's mostly for school, but. <laughs> um. But I st I stand by though. Tonight's show didn't live up to the hype in my mind. No. Yeah. I th no. I tonight did you. not. The only thing good about having Hogan there is that we had a dumb blonde with huge tits. <laughs> <laughs> um. Am I wrong? John Cena is talking yeah, about yeah. An, a pop that he heard a pop on his knee, but I mean. People are really pushing this hard. PWI, Wrestling Insider, everyone's really pushing this. I mean, usually this isn't is real when all these people start mentioning it, but I don't know. And no, I don't as think... Much as, I, as much as I rip on Cena, I honestly do, do hope he makes it to WrestleMania. 
I would like to see how they scramble. To actually, you know what? Considering he's fighting Bray Wyatt, it wouldn't really be too much of a scramble if he misses Mania this year, in my opinion. Right. <laughs> not that not nothing against Bray Wyatt. Nothing. I mean, the whole reason I joined the show was to defend Bray Wyatt because I think he's excellent. But I don't know. It seems Cena's too big for Bray Wyatt coming off of back-to-back Rock matches. Uh, call me crazy, but and I always say they should push the young talent. And Bray Wyatt's a perfect example of the young talent. But if they, it just seems if they're gonna act one way when it comes to WrestleMania, go all or nothing. Don't be like we're gonna push the young talent by giving Bray Wyatt a John Cena match, and we're not gonna push Daniel Bryan, and we're instead we're gonna have Batista Orton for the. You know what I mean? Doesn't yeah. make any sense. No, you're right. If you're going to push the young talent, make it make it Daniel Bryan, not Bray Wyatt. My problem with tonight's show is they had some decent matches set up, yet the way they ended them was horrible. Um. Yeah, I mean, nothing stuck out. I mean, you you mean even the good matches ended bad? Cesaro, I mean, Big E was okay. Two disqualifications in one night? That's, what, just, that's just horseshit. How did, but how, how about, I mean, Cesaro, Big E, was that not, did that not end well? Was that It ended in disqualification, but it was cool because it set up the split between the Real Americans. Well, who do you guys who do you guys see uh, Big E facing at Mania? Who Big E? Maybe Cesaro in a rematch for the title. Maybe Cesaro would be nice. Those two against each other. I um, could see Cesaro versus Swagger for a number one contenders match leading up to Mania, and then Cesaro winning, and then getting his Mania in a Continental title shot, winning the IC belt. You know what that means for Dolph Ziggler, right? Nothing it means uh, push the card out back. <laughs> Not talk about that anymore. It's just so depressing talking about Ziggler. What? So this this makes me think even more that they need to have money in the bank in Mania again, because yeah, you could have Dolph and a bunch of those guys. You know what they should do at Mania? Have the um, match at Mania for the money in the bank <coughs> be for the like Intercontinental belt or something. Still have two: one for the IC belt, one for the world title. Yeah, why not? That would be cool. Isn't that a bad idea? Um, or even fucking, you know, whoever wins gets a match the next night for the Intercontinental belt. That would showcase the Intercontinental belt. And I, I don't know. It was just, uh, to me, it makes sense. Do something yeah, like if that. If you had two money, monies in the bank and one was for the world title, one was for the IC, you would, first of all, set up two clear divisions. Whoever is in the IC division would be, you know, like all the mid carters. And then you'd see who is the main event competition by who gets into the world title match and i mean just by setting that clear line it would bring us back to when wrestling was good again back when they had clearly defined divisions even in wcw where they had the cruiserweight division all those wrestlers only wrestled each other and all they were after was the cruiserweight belt they weren't trying to use the cruiserweight belt as a stepping stone except for people like maybe jericho and a few breakout stars most of them were just content with being number one in their field and right now, the IC belt is just a stepping stone when it could be looked at as, I am the best mid-carder. That's all I want to be, and no one's going to beat me. And that's a position Cesaro could fill really well, in my opinion. What about um? What about a battle royal for the uh, battle royal at WrestleMania? The first match is a battle royal to see who faces the Intercontinental Champion, Big E. Later on in the night. I think they've done something like it. At WrestleMania 14, they had a tag battle royal to see who... Uh, was the number one contender or who became the champions in LOD one? Yeah, I remember that. But, but they could do this as a battle royal, and whoever wins gets a match against the Intercontinental title uh, champion. Now, you could do the battle royal in the pre-match if they wanted to. Uh, I'd rather see it in the real match. That way you showcase people. I mean, like people like Mark Henry, Big Show, you know, all that stuff. To, you know, I, I almost... Honestly, if you ask me what they need to do to really pull out the IC title, put it back where it needs to be, they need, unfortunately, they need to drop the U.S. title belt. Well, I agree with you, but I will say one thing. I think they're do, they've are doing. they been doing the right stuff with the IC belt a little bit, and they're doing a great job right now. The belt on Big E looks legit right now. And for I, the first I, time in ever. For the first time in a long time, and I, I feel that feeling I had when I was a kid when I saw the Intercontinental Champion. It meant something, and I feel that presence when I see it with Big E Langston. And so, that's why they're hiding the U.S. belts to make the IC belt look so much more important because right. right now, as far as people are concerned, there's only three belts, Tag Team, World, and IC. Right. But they don't want to get rid of the U.S. because, for all we know, they could have a plan for that later on down the line once the IC is established. And, and you brought, and you just mentioned these a second ago, Bukasovic, and we asked, what do you think of the BS they pulled with, the, with that tag match earlier tonight? What do you mean, the BS? You know, with the New Age Outlaws and the Usos earlier tonight. Right, you mean the the fact that it was a non-match and it just ended in, like, the first three seconds? Yeah. 
I mean, I like I would have liked to see the Usos face the, face the New Age Outlaws, but that was just pathetic. I think they want the New Age Outlaws to go into Mania with the belts and leave without them. That would really put over whoever beats them. And yeah. if it's not the Usos, I don't know who it's going to be. But, I mean, considering every other team has been splitting up but the Usos, it seems like that's what they're leading to. Almost like a mini Daniel Bryan situation where the Usos get screwed a couple times and then finally they get their revenge at Mania and finally win the tag team titles at Mania. I would just like to I mean, say... It's been a long time coming. Darren Young... Oh, yeah. Since Bray Wyatt, if Cena recovers, if he'll have a match if Cena recovers, what if Harper or Rowan and uh, the other guy face the tag team champions? I would like that too. If if not the Usos, mm. having uh, Eric Rowan and Luke Harper beat the um, New Age Outlaws at Mania for the belts, oh. that'd be really cool. Ooh. <laughs> on this one, Joe. I don't like that. Um, I think one of them is good. Uh, Mr. Uh, Run is good. The other guy is a little sloppy. But um, yeah, Rowan's do well, Rowan's been getting better, in my opinion. I would like them to. I wouldn't mind if they did capture the belts eventually against somebody to go on a heel run with them. But, but not. You, you think it's too early? Not at Mania is what I'm saying. I think the Usos or somebody okay, at Mania yeah. is better. I um, think I and um, and I think the Usos need it more. I think the Wyatts are kind of turned into something bigger at this point for some reason and um the usos would look good with the belts too the, they would look good and the outlaws want to put somebody over and that's what WWE wants that's a, that's why they have them uh and they're gonna put them over just bet whoever the outlaws are wrestling at wrestlemania just bet against the outlaws for sure 100 percent. there's no doubt if they in my walk mind. out with the belts i will be shocked and su- and surprised beyond belief yeah That'd be insanely shocking. And can I say, coming to a uh, wrestling hall near you or a YMCA near you, Darren Young and Titus O'Neil, because <laughs> you're going away, buddy. You're going away like fucking crime time. And uh, you think so? Last night. Oh yeah, I think so. I think them Titus breaking. Titus is awesome. No, them breaking up was 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 bad. It was a bad idea. I mean, Maybe I for ha- Darren, but I think Titus has a strong well, future. His, okay. his his mic skills backstage are, are like close to when The Rock was first learning how to be good on the mic. Well, okay, I'll give you Titus because I did I did think when he came out the other night, I had a little flash that was like, you know, we're running short on heels, and him yeah. as a crazy heel might work, might work. He's obnoxious too. The way he interviews himself backstage and then thanks the interviewer at the end of it and just walks away without them letting without letting yeah. them get a word in. I mean but, that's But Darren is Janetti. Darren is screwed. Yeah, that's true. He's Janetti yeah, without the sucks. cocaine. <laughs> oh well. So or maybe with, we don't know. Well uh, I'll be honest. To me the most exciting he was Darren Young cannot stand by himself right now. Right. I liked him when he was working with the uh thing, what was the CM Punk's old group? Um Straight Society. Yeah, the Straight Edge Society, which I like that whole thing. And the Nexus stuff. Set the ball trick. Uh, Michael Too Serious on Twitter says, Love the show, bro. Defo thinks Sting and Punk could possibly happen. Are we saying Defo now is like that? Is that really a thing? No. Okay. No. So I shouldn't have said that then. Well, you can say it as quoting someone, but no, it's not a thing, and it won't be a thing. Okay. Well, it's okay. I will say this. I did like the ending until they started talking. Uh, the ending of what? I love the ending of Raw if Paul Heyman had just kept his mouth shut. I liked it better because it showed that he wasn't taking Undertaker seriously as a threat, and neither was Lesnar. It was basically just Paul Heyman saying, like, all right, well, you can just sign the stupid paper, and then Lesnar being like, yeah, yeah, here, I'll sign it. All right, I'll take you at Manny, and, and Undertaker saying in return, I don't think you fucking understand. This isn't a fucking game. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Man, I'll tell oh, you. It's going to be 22 and 0. Isn't it funny how The Undertaker has to save this shit every year? Remember when we talked about there hasn't been a meaningful title match in the last, like, five years? There right. just continues to be no meaningful matches at WrestleMania, they're just it just continues. Every to year happen. has a Steamboat Savage now. Every single year, right? Every year, it's it's there's no more big title match, nothing, the, and it doesn't happen. And now this year, we and usually you have to wait till that night to figure that out. And you're right. like, oh shit! Now it's predictable. Now it's just oh, Batista Orton. That's not going to be good. Well, it's all it's already stupid. You, what happened to Shawn Michaels? You go back to WrestleMania 14 when when the rest of the card was weaker. Shawn Michaels versus Austin was just everything 
and everything and the belt meant so much and Austin winning meant so WrestleMania much. WrestleMania 12, Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels. You, That's right. all anyone gave a shit about and that was like the huge story leading in. But nowadays, WrestleMania for God knows how long has been and leaning on The Undertaker with your, for, to use as a crutch. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 really dumb. I CM don't... Punk Jericho was pretty good in my opinion, even though it could have been booked a little better, but that was a really, really good match. Uh, okay, I'll give you that, but the Dead Man match is always what saves what saves WrestleMania yeah. from being horrible, like like number right. eleven. Yeah, and before I haven't really cared before because every other year I just kind of went, yeah, of course, like, this is great. I'm having a great time with this, and um, but but then. Um, what the fuck is going on? But then, um, <coughs> you know, this year it's just like it's garbage. I mean, you don't. I, I'm. It's really sticking out that they don't care right now. And um, it's 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 disappointing to be honest. What's going on? Oh uh, man, sports. Cult. And uh, Joe, I had an idea how how they may be able to turn Cena heel this year. <laughs> I have an idea about that every year. It never happens, but all right. Just say. He makes it to Mania and he faces Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt wins the match and they carry him off. But instead of just letting him come back after a movie like Kane, he comes back brainwashed. Um, how about ball washed? Kind of like how so Daniel Bryan. Is not, rock. Yeah, kind of like how Daniel Bryan was in the. Yeah, was in the Wyatts and you. It was weird. I get. I kind of get it. I get that they could do it, but. They won't. Uh, they won't do that. And I'd like to see him turn. If he's going to turn heel, I'd like to see him go fucking just out, out fucking right ape shit, you know. Punt a baby into the crowd. So. Yeah, I want to see him, you know, you know, DDT a make-a-wish kid. You know, that's, I think that would be a great angle. That would be some way to get heat. I'm going to take a. a panda's a, throat in the middle of the ring. Right. I'm going to take a phone call because I haven't taken one in a while. Except for you guys. What's up, 614. Six one four. Hello, six one four. You're somewhere near Ray Mysterio. Ray Ray was looking good the other night on the panel. By the way, how about that? Yeah. Looking good. Six one nine. You're, you're talking to the master of the six six six. <laughs> well, you're talking to the master of the sixty nine. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't touching that with a thirty foot pole. Troy Corhonen, my my buddy, uh, from uh, my buddy from work. He goes. Ever wonder if WWE was intentionally being horrible? That way, everyone will just be unhappily happy. Will be unbelievably happy later. Hashtag business plan. Well, yeah, I thought that's what they were doing, but until, it, the, until tonight, and now you know it's he's not. Ryan's not going to get the belt at Mania, and it's kind of just like, oh fuck. I mean, I guess you could do something like, well, Hogan has all the power and everything, or something or other. And then Batista gets the belt, or something happens where that match ends kind of quick. Like Batista, like Batista goes full on heel and just starts beating Randy with a chair and all these things and goes crazy. The only um, way I can see WrestleMania being safe in the title picture is if, say, Batista wins the title belt, and Hulk Hogan sit, comes out there and says, "Sure, you can leave with the belt as soon as you beat your next opponent." Well, that's what I was just getting at. But thanks for stealing uh, what I was saying. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, and then Hogan comes out and says, uh, you know, you you you're gonna wrestle this guy, but they're not gonna just have those two in a match and then do that. So I don't, I'm not, I don't know. But imagine if Hogan came out and said, you know, not so fast, brother, you know, and you got Daniel Bryan, and then Daniel Bryan came out and then won, and then he's got the belt and he's celebrating and everything goes off the air. But then the next right night on Raw, Triple H comes out and he's like, you're not the champion. Hogan didn't have any, whatever. Oh my God. You know Back what I mean? And, and they did it again, and they continued with this shit. That thing is that I can see happening, right? I can see Hogan coming out and trying to say, "All right, brother, it's going to be this match now, and you're going to have to." And then someone just like Triple H just getting on the mic and saying, "Like, whoa, 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 Hogan, this this isn't TNA. You can't just change the main event right now." Did right. they even mention TNA in the WWE? No, they don't do that. Or is no, that just one of those taboo things they don't talk about? It's not taboo. They just want to get they, across the uh, no the idea just, of they're not even worthy. Like, why mention them? Why not yeah. mention some other indie fed? You know, they're like a giant who's like, hey, look a bug. You know, they you wouldn't even stop to notice it. You just keep walking. You know what I mean? 
you might move out of the way of a tree, but if you saw some ants on the ground, you were walking to the store, you're not going to, you know, you don't even fucking notice. You just step on them. That's they don't want to acknowledge that they're number two or that in between the indies and WWE. They want the world to see it as there's WWE and then everything else. <laughs> Ring of Honor, TNA, you know, et cetera. Right. That's, that's what WWE does. And that's what WWE's like, and that's what they do. Um, how about Evan Bourne? What happened to him coming back? Where did he go? You know, when we were expecting him to come back forever ago, and then he just doesn't. I think he's going to come back now after after Mania, obviously, it seems. Yeah. You know, I don't see anything else. I don't know. He's, he's good in the ring, but I just don't have any faith in them pushing him anywhere. His, his whole attitude and character was just too generic. Happy guy. <laughs> I mean, he was a heel that didn't really have a lot of mic skills. He was just a good high flyer in my mind. Wait, he was a heel? When was he a heel? <laughs> Sorry, I mean his face. Oh, yeah. So I've been in classes for nine hours. <laughs> Hogan comes out and says the winner has to face freight train. I mean, a train. Title versus title. No, no. Title versus title. WWE title versus five dollar title. I don't know. That's weird left field, but uh, Roddy Piper really wanted to get involved in Mania too. I don't know. He he really thought something might happen with Hogan, but then when I think Hogan couldn't pass the physical, I think they scrapped that idea. But now I don't know what Piper's thing yeah. gonna be. Piper should just be allowed <laughs> to come. You know, just kind of hang out and just come out. Do you and remember like, when Piper poked uh, Heath Slater in the eyes? Yeah, that was one of the funniest things. Heath Slater has taken some of the best like return bumps ever, like uh, the poke in the eyes. He took the diamond cutter from Diamond Dallas Page. Yep. Uh, he, he took a really good one. That was a really good diamond cutter. I was watching that the other day, and I was like, man, that was a great one. What amazed me is he didn't plead this off as if it's nothing half the time, and he just laughed about it. And I admit, I kind of like that. The hockey he guy. He's a great worker. Bruins uh, Hockey 615 said, Ezekiel Jackson, where the fuck did you go? Um, I don't, people are bringing up some weird stuff tonight because I think yeah. they just don't know what to talk about. They're just well, because of the network, people are starting to remember people. <laughs> people are starting to watch the network and then pretend like they were there, which I don't mind. If you if you didn't experience the attitude, go back to 1997, start watching the first pay per view in '97, and just watch onward from there, and you'll fucking your mind will blow itself. Speaking of that era, do you remember when you were talking about people throwing trash in the ring at yeah. uh, WCW? Yeah. yeah. Someone said uh, somewhere that I read that. Um, they were once at a WCW event, and it was a house show, and they were pissed off at the main events. So they were trying to get everyone around them to throw trash into the ring. So they were saying, we want trash. We want trash. <laughs> and then Vir Virgil came out, so everyone started chanting, close enough, close enough. <laughs> but uh, I think I've got an answer where Bourne is right now. They're keeping him in the uh, NXT and not ready to put him back on TV yet. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll watch him on NXT. I'm surprised that we thought maybe the Rumble. I mean, you know, instead of JBL, we could have gotten Evan Bourne, but okay. I I guess I guess we didn't need Evan Bourne. We can just get JBL. That's fine, I suppose. Fine for them. JBL was there to get the camera off of the ramp so that uh, Kane could come down to ringside to fuck with CM Punk. From what I read, that makes sense. The old trick. The old look one way, here's this thing happening. I get you. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I tried to get Mick Foley to come on tonight. I tweeted him a bunch, and, uh, you know, I, I don't know. He probably, who the fuck? I don't know how you can read your Twitter when you have a million Twitter followers. I can barely keep up with my Twitter. His Facebook is a better way to get in touch with him. <laughs> well, okay. I'll try that. Just comment on one of his posts. If you're, like, one of the first comments, he'll probably read it. You should have, um... You should have gotten him on the damn show when you were out there in Vegas when you met him. I April's coming up. I'm telling you, man, you should have gotten your hand under, under the desk that when you were signing stuff and giving him a little handy. <laughs> and just look at him. <laughs> and just look at him with these intense eyes. And then after you're done and he's done, you know, you guys are trying to play it off like nothing's happening. How will I know when he's done? You'll know. Because he'll <laughs> I, I, you know, a, a single tear will run down his cheek. Well, so, they're all around a certain name. So then when that happens, yeah, well, no, he'll, he won't do it loudly because he'll be signing autographs at the time trying to make this look like nothing's happening. You know, right. And he'll, he'll, he'll kind of... Well, there'll be a picture being taken too, I mean. And he'll just, a tear will roll down his eye and then he'll just go, oh, daddy. You know, just do that under his he breath. He won't say bang, bang or anything like no, that? No, 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 not bang, bang. Just, oh, 
Like you just like okay. this little whine, just ever that slightly. Ooh, that, oh, so it's more dude love. Is that's what right. dude, oh, dude loves? Yeah, into it's kind of like dude love. Oh, you know, dude, right. dude pud. Um, and then so and then <laughs> when you tug, and then when you're done that, and he kind of looks at you like thank you, but but at the same time he's embarrassed a little bit. You just mm. slap down in front of him a card that says. You know, YouTube.com, sl- you know, Joe Cronin show. All Should I stuff. snap it in the waistband of his pants? No, no, no. Just put it right in front of him. So when he looks down sad, but he sees that and he starts reading. So it gets his mind off of that dirty deed that just well, happened. What if, it, what if I put it in the pile of his tears? Or her, I'm sorry, oh, his single could, tear. No, it's, well, yeah, you could do that. So it has a little tear mark, kind of like a, uh, yeah, right. just a, a memory, like a little bit of I'll, a. I'll, you know what? I'll stick it to the tear while it's running down his cheek. How about that? Yeah, I like that. Why don't. Um, uh, let's talk about Lesnar, uh, <laughs> Le- Le- Lesnar Undertaker now. I mean, listen, I'm excited for this, but I gotta be honest. I didn't want to be. I didn't want Undertaker Lesnar to be the only thing, because I am a little worried that it won't. It will be like CM Punk Undertaker, which is like it will be really good, but it won't be Triple H Undertaker, Shawn Michaels Undertaker. I don't think it's going to be that. I really don't. What if they let Lesnar win? I don't. No, I don't think so. I think the whole difference between the matches is, is, is sort of the, the character that they are. CM Punk, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, all of them have very defined and distinct character. Brock Lesnar, he's a beast, but there's no real character to it. Yeah, there's character. Paul Heyman's his character, which is all you need. <laughs> Say something stupid. <laughs> exactly. I know what... Lesnar's character is badass. Is what it is, and that's all you need to yeah. know. He's gonna fucking knock you out. He's gonna make you piss down your leg. And, he's and gonna on top kick, of kick it, he in has the nuts. Ball, Heyman. Right. All right. Oh, yeah, thanks to your point. Well, I gotta, I gotta tell you, man, we gotta get back on my channel because we're getting fucked with uh, all the other people. You know, what I mean, getting more views because we're we're on this separate channel. It's confusing the shit out of everybody. It's Jacker uh, here go. to save the day. Yeah, this is Jacker. What's up, man? Hey, um, I just gotta say, why th- why did they make the match of Batista and Del Rio like they had in the pay per view? What was the point of that? Just to make like, well, I know just to Batista to make him look like kind of bad since Orton came out, but also like, did you notice when Hulk Hul- Hogan he said like, oh, we're all ready for WrestleMania 30? Everyone's like, yeah, about that. <laughs> it's kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, we're not really ready anymore. Now we're. Kinda... What I liked was. And anyone notice uh, Hogan's big save when he said, "Today is the debut of the WWE universe because the WWE universe is debuting the WWE network." Yeah, that was great. <laughs> like he called he called the network the universe, and he somehow saved it by bringing it back around. Right. Yeah. Hogan knows how to talk to save his own ass. That's yeah. true. Yeah. It was beautiful. I I enjoyed it. I, I like what Hogan can do. You know what I mean? Um, and he, he did. He did a good job. He did what I wanted him to do. You know what I mean? He came out. He got me excited. I had my surround sound blared. Fucking bam, bam, bam. I'm like doing the wave. I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy in my room. And um, uh, I, I just wanted to know for <laughs> WrestleMania, like every WrestleMania, they always do like all the championship belts, right? Like Night of Champions. Like all the champions are. Not always. There oh, was not no, always? I think it, I think there was no U.S. title belt at the last one, right? Uh, no, there wasn't. I don't think. There wasn't, I think, an Intercontinental Championship, wasn't it? There wasn't, I think, last year, so. I think there was. Was that the Big Show match? No. Oh, that was Big Show Cody Rose. That was like three years ago, I think, right? Or two years. I think you'll get Big E against like Cesaro or Swagger or yeah. Dolph Ziggler or something like we I mean you, I wanted you, I wanted Dolph Ziggler versus Big E, but I don't know if that's gonna happen now. Do you think Cesaro and Swagger like you know are kind of like they're gonna go their own separate ways since Swagger cost him the match? Like he's like I don't know if they might break up, you know. Yeah, I mean I think the WWE sees that you know what I mean, it, it doesn't make any sense because everyone's cheering for the real Americans and Doing the We the People because they love Cesaro. They're okay with Swagger just because he's there. And is he, I don't know if they fucking care about Ion Zima. I don't know if they care about him. Um, uh, real quick, just uh, <laughs> for statistics sake. Uh, WrestleMania 29 last year, there mm-hmm. was The Miz versus Wade Barrett for the Intercontinental title during the pre-show. Right. So it wasn't on the actual card, and there was no U.S. title match. Uh, that's what 
<laughs> oh yeah, the the hockey guy also brought up something. Do we re- do you guys remember when uh, the Hogan said, uh, "I can watch the Rock Jack"? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I I laughed out loud. I was like, "Oh, you're gonna my start God. using Jack more in your Hogan impression because yeah. he's up to Zanthi on that." We word. know something. I can watch the Rock Jack. You know what I mean? I mean, I. Joe, do you think of your impression of Hank Hill last week? Joe had had me on my ass laughing. <laughs> I can't even do it now because I'm so sick. I can't, can't really do it. But do you do you guys think at wrestle like Batista and Orton like since that's I think pretty much set. You know, let's just assume that, right? Um, do you think the fans will? They're probably gonna boo the shit out of that match. But do you think they will actually go for Orton rather than Batista? Like, if yeah. Because they... based 100%. on what Orton said, like no one fucking likes you, Batista, since you came back. So Orton got a couple of cheers change. for that cheer for Orton kind of but it's like Orton like he's old he's had the championship since SummerSlam like he's had it for quite a while he has to like give it up I I do like that they're having longer title reigns because that's something that Triple H said he was going to do in his term and it does add more value to the belt yeah but but I'm just worried because I think you know, Batista said he's going to win the Royal Rumble. Headline WrestleMania, he did all that shit. Now, I don't know if he's going to win the championship. Like, because do you... I don't know about that. Because <laughs> he did everything that he said he was going to do. Like, he accomplished it. I mean... Well, you got a point there, and he's also sucking off Triple H, so he's got a good chance of winning that title belt. Right, right, right. No, I, I like my Hogan impression, guys, but my fucking... I can't do the voice tonight. Hey, there's Jaren. Uh, the U.S. title has only been defended at four WrestleManias. So that's what Jaron said. See, that's why you have Jaron around. This is why we're, we're missing him. Um, well, actually, if you just read his comments, then we don't even need him on the show. But I miss his <laughs> lovely <laughs> I'm voice. I'm kidding, um, I got cussed last night, so I'm not going near it. Gamer20 said, WWE hasn't made sense since the Attitude Era ended. One word, invasion, three, enough said. <laughs> oh, there, enough said, three. What the fuck? I'm dyslexic. Um, but no, you're right. That invasion thing, it all got bizarre. But then it kind of got back to normal a little bit. And then it got bizarre again. Then it, then it was cool again. And then it turned into PG and I wanted to kill myself. Why the... You know what? I don't get it. Why the hell does Kane wear his, like, fucking suit, like, every time he has a match? Can't he just because wear, like, a wrestling gear? Like, he doesn't have to wear a mask. But, but it's to get across that he's corporate Kane. And yeah. I know, but... Uh, it's to okay, make you so mad. It's, not, it's, so it's, it's to make you right? mad. I have to wrestle with my suit pants but on, right? The, right to censor, to did. Make you right mad. to censor all wore suits every day, even, <laughs> even the woman. It's literally to make you upset. It's to make you mad because it's like, well... Hey, let's make Kane a bad guy. Oh, wait, we've done that a million times. He, he just wears the mask and says he's ma- he's bad now. Remember when he actually announced he was going heel? Remember how dumb that was? Remember that? What did he what did he say? He he <laughs> said remember remember I was flipping I was ranting about it. This was like 7 months ago or 6 months ago. Remember this? He I actually forget. said he was going going heel. He said right. it. And I but mean not, not in so many words. But basically, yeah, he basically was like, I think it's time for me to go bad again, or it's time for me yeah. to, to be. It was like, what? So, what are you going to do that again? So, they're yeah, like, superstar that can break down the fourth wall is how, punk. How can we make Kane a hated heel again? An actual hated heel, and not just, you know what I mean, a half ass heel. He needs oh. to set a woman on fire. Oh, oh, we can put him in a suit. What is the opposite of Kane right now? Oh, we can put him in a fucking suit. That is genius. I actually love what they've done with Kane because it's perfect. Corporate Kane, he's in a suit. You hate that. That's not Kane. You're mad at it, and I love it. That is one thing I will give the WWE maximum credit And he's talking for. a lot, too, which is great. So, yeah. So, guys. I will admit it was probably for the best of everyone if they kept him in the mask. Is it is it true? <laughs> it's Undertaker and Lesnar, right? Yeah, that's a lock. Yeah, Undertaker that, and Lesnar's happening. Oh yeah, I mean, I, under, I mean, Undertaker, I told you it was happening months ago, and so now you saw this. But tonight, now it's you official. Yeah. Yo, hey, Josie Rich, how you doing? Ooh, what's up, six four six? Hey, Josie. Josie Rich, how you doing tonight, guys? Man, we're doing, we're doing, we're a little bit low, we're down a little bit, but what's uh, with, we're all, we'll be all right. What's up? Yeah, nothing much, man. It was an all right show. I saw, I saw most of the raw tonight. Um, the beginning was not bad. Didn't get a chance to see too much of it because I was traveling, but I saw the ending. It was crazy, man. I like the ending. Yeah, the ending was great. Um, the rest of Raw disappointed disappointed us. I think the only thing that's going right now that I'm interested in, we're interested in, is Undertaker versus Lesnar, and they had a great spot to end the night. That was a beautiful way to begin, beautiful way to end, 
and pretty much everything in between just made me mad. Not because it was bad, but just because I'm not happy with how they're handling the title and handling yeah. Daniel Bryan. But, yeah, um, I agree. About, about the match, like, I'm not saying it's probably going to be a beast match, you know, right, that's for certain, but I'm just, like, saying... Does it really come to age? Because you see Lesnar, he's like really young. He's athletic. An Undertaker, he's like an oldie. Like, I don't, I don't know if they're able to like go that far since on Lesnar, you know, is more fit. Yeah. You know, he's younger. <laughs> but they're both big fans of MMA, so you never know how they, what style of match they might have. I think the Lesnar Taker match will be an interesting match. Um, they're almost similar styles, but I agree that Lesnar's way younger. He's more athletic. Undertaker been in the game almost twenty years now. Different different styles in this match. Yeah, no, I can see that. We'll know for a fact if Undertaker is going to lose at WrestleMania is if, if they release several couple DVDs about him before the match. <laughs> if they start releasing a bunch of crap about his younger days, he's leading up to WrestleMania, then we may see the end of the Dead Man streak. I think you may. He may announce it beforehand, like uh, say something like. Uh, I don't even know what he'll do, to be honest. I can't figure out, like, say this is going to be the last match or something. I mean, I can't imagine him saying that. So I'm really not sure. Let's bring another phone call in. Uh, six... Tony Hall has been threatening to quit the show if we don't bring him on soon. Jesus, he's really mad, huh? Tony, there's a lot Very of phone sad. calls here. I've been missing a lot of calls. 682, what's up? See, Tony wants to be on. I get this 682 number on. and uh, 682, you there? What do you got? Did Rob put you in a hey, coma? Hey, man, I got a quick question for you. I don't know if anyone's reported it. Do you know if the WB Network's, like, messing up as on, well, like, their, like, videos and all that, man? Yeah, so it's it's having... Uh, they're it's definitely bad. having some problems. I mean, I'm watching it right now, and I've watched it a few times, and I've had no issues sometimes. But I've had problems with loading. Um, I've had Paper issues... Views. Pay-per-views, yeah. Especially on... Uh, especially doing... Um, what's it called? Um... 4G or 3G has been a real problem. When I'm at home on the Wi-Fi, it's worked fine. And, of course, it's not working. For me, yet. I can't load almost anything. Really? Okay. Also on, the, also on the Xbox, I haven't been able to get my Xbox to connect at all. Now, you can't even sign in, right? Because I can't sign into mine. Also, what do you think about Undertaker versus uh, Brock Lesnar? Do you think it's going to be an epic matchup, or is it, is it as broadcast to carry Undertaker, you think? No, I think I think it can be awesome. It's going to be a great match. I think it can be awesome. Yeah. Um, hopefully, in, tw- in twenty-one years, has Deadman really had a bad match? I mean, he's had matches against I like. I don't think he did. Uh, not a mania. He, he wrestled Mark Henry. I don't. Oh, wow. I, I don't remember if I like that match or not, but I can't say he had a great match I mean, against there Edge. Was, there, there was the match with Kane. I'm also, my UV pros, man. I listen to you at work while I'm trying to catch up the updates and all the uh, pay per views, man. Oh, thanks, man. That's cool. Yeah, I, All right, man. yeah, man. Take it easy. Okay. Thanks for calling. Keep listening. I'm glad you do. Oh, also, uh, also, I checked with the um because I found on the network through the PS3. It's been getting a little bit of issues, but not a lot. But I've been working through fine with the Wi-Fi, so it's just probably a server issue. Really? But yeah, but I can't even log in on Xbox. It, it says I can't log. It says unable to log in wrong password or email. But my yeah. email and password are right. So yeah, I was seeing that. I, as, I, uh, I, I have no problem with the PS3, but computer, I'm not familiarized with it yet. So it's the PS3 one to give me a little bit of problem, not a lot. The only place I've been able to watch it, everything with no problem, is the PC. On the computer is fine. Anything else, uh, tablet, phone, fucking Sony, PlayStation, or Xbox, there's problems. So you guys mentioned, mentioned and this is the network and everything. Have you noticed that most of the night wallers and call on the WWE network use the app? Yeah, you know what? I've been doing it all day. I even typed in WWE app all day long, and then I realized, They're oh, They're somewhat shit. Inter- interchangeable to an extent. Yeah, because you can go on the app to watch the you network. You watch the network on the app. So. Yeah. Okay. And um, Thank you, man. If you go on the computer and you click on login, it's at the bottom. You can It says, if you go all the way to the bottom of the website, it says watch. WWE Network. It's kind of weird. It's actually a little confusing. For, for me, this is true. Is I've had to explain to people what, what exactly this is in so many words. And the best thing I can tell them is, all right, it's basically what would happen if Vince McMahon bought Hulu. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> right. But it's been great. I mean, from what I'm seeing, like, I wish I could stay up all night tonight and watch it, you know? I want to go watch all these old pay-per-views, especially like the in your houses, you know, the ones that you never really saw again or or that type of thing, you know, the the 
the uh, too much anger or over the limit. You know, these stupid pay-per-views that were back in the day. Uh, even some of the WCW ones that I missed out on back in the day because, you know, I had to buy the WWE pay-per-views, I would say, for that. You know, I couldn't ask, hey, let me get both WCW and, and WWE, mom. So, right. but but then I saw what happened the next night on Nitro, and I really haven't gone back to watch those. So I'm interested to do that. <laughs> Have you seen all the ECW pay-per-views? No. There's another thing. I've probably seen I about 75% of them, maybe. So, no, I'll, no. Get everything I'll that up to 100%. <laughs> I also checked the like some of the um and some of the network they got some of the old school ECW episodes there they got some of the vault there for like older episodes it's really interesting I haven't got a chance to look at it but it's it's pretty interesting the network yeah it's cool yeah they, I hope they, they start it... filling those out so they're not just you know they're they're like four or five episodes in each category yeah. and I hope the category just builds over time yeah that'd be really cool they they call it like ECW Hardcore Alley or Corner or whatever I don't know it's it's cool. Yeah, I, I, I saw that today thing. It looks interesting. And I also saw um, Kyle Town, and I also saw the um, NXT. I'm interested in the NXT now all of a sudden because now they got it on the network, so that, that gives them a name too. I think this makes NXT so much more interesting to people because they're like, oh, I can access this and see the stars. Uh, before, right. NXT was confusing to watch, and I don't think people knew exactly how to do it. I had so. a Hulu subscription just to watch it for a couple of months until I was like, screw it, it's not, I can't spend this much money just on NXT. Yeah, that guy Michael on Twitter is like, oh, I live in the UK. So many people in the UK, you know what I mean, are not happy right now because they can't fucking watch. There's a workaround to get it to work somehow. You is just there? Google it. And I think yeah. it's the same thing with Canada as well. Canada, UK, and some part, other parts of Europe don't even got the network yet. Right, it's but uh, I think there's a, there's a way where you can change uh, to yeah. an extent. Like yeah. I think you have to make a fake name and, and make a PayPal account for that fake name and just put in a bullshit yeah. address and then pay that way and then you're all set. Work Don't that. quote me on yeah. that though. Just Google it. Yeah, and see what Google people are saying. Yeah, Google how to watch you know, the WWE app in, in the in Europe or in UK or whatever. You'll find something. So maybe there is a workaround. That would make sense though. Uh, these firms keep coming up. WWE is going to have to come out and do another press conference to explain why this is screwing up so bad. Well, well it's launch day. It's launch day, so you give That's it. True. You have about three to f three to five days. If, if things aren't fixed in five days, usually you know there you have a problem. Uh, I would this is why it's free for a week. I give right. it a week. I have to give it a week. Yeah, okay, you can give it a week then. And I, I would have to think that Xbox would be up soon, though. They they got to get the platforms going. Um, but f for sure they have to get the platforms going by Mania because you watch it on your TV. you got to have the platforms going. You know, I don't want to watch yeah. Mania on my tablet. I want the surround sound. I want it on my TV, my big Think screen. of it this way. If it's not fixed within a week, then people who have the one-week free subscription are going to cancel their fucking subscription. So it needs to be fixed before it's time for them to decide whether or not they're going to keep it. Right. Well. Hey, you mentioned Mania. That, just remember, Joe, come Mania, you'll be back in your regular channel again. Yeah, that will be really yeah. cool that night. I think we're gonna we're gonna bomb. We're gonna blow it up that night. I'll have to figure out what to do though about whether we're gonna go live from UStream or not because I want to get the most viewers on YouTube I can uh, to compete. Funnel it. To, yeah, to compete with with um, Dingleberry. I don't know what the hell just happened. Oh, the WWE app just started flipping out on me. The network. <laughs> um, I, I'm, I put it on the camera all over again. Sorry. As for this role, um, I think I'm going to have to give it a so quick rating. I give it about six, six and a half, because the lot of the middle match was like, eh, it was a terrible, it was, it was, it was terrible at the beginning, the end, even the range match for a little bit, but that's really about it. Yeah, I agree with that. I give tonight's draw a 6.66. <laughs> what is it with you? <laughs> Why are you so satanic? <laughs> Why are you so satanic? I enjoy, I enjoy freaking people out. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get going for now, guys. But like I said, it's awesome. I'm still 40 days left to Mania, but they're gonna switch something around with the. I don't know if they're gonna switch around the main event, but they're gonna do something around it. I don't know what. It's the only good match is really interesting to me. Like uh, you said in the show, Undertaker, um, Lesnar. I don't know what they're gonna do with the IC title. I don't know what they're gonna do with the US title. Tag titles would be interesting, but. But there's nothing really to sell except Taker and Lesnar. I, I, I hope they save the card this year. They, I really mean it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I got you right. But, I, but I, I, again, I kid around, but I'll actually, I think it cares, I'll give tonight a seven. I, I would give tonight, I mean, because of Undertaker and Lesnar and because of Hogan, I'd give tonight a seven. 
um, and because of the one or two kind of decent matches we saw. But those guys bump it up big time. If not for if Undertaker didn't happen tonight, I'd probably be giving the show a five. And that's I mean, even that was so predictable though. Yeah, but they just I just like the way they pulled it off. I'm giving what it a six. Was- and they could have been a lot Hogan of things. Oh, go ahead. Without Hogan or um, Punk, it would have probably. I mean, Hogan or um, excuse that, or Undertaker would have been a five anyway. So, also um, before I cut off the night, um, I can't I can't wait. Really, what's gonna happen to Raw in Chicago next week, and then Brooklyn in a couple of weeks time? Because those are the two most hostile crowds left before um, Mania and then not after Raw. I mean, not after uh, Mania. So, what's what's gonna happen? Next week in Chicago is going to be wild. I think both shows, Chicago and Brooklyn. Right. So, and also, I have a quick question. Are they, yeah. are, they, are they playing the um, Hall of Fame during the um, network, too? Are they going to run it on the network? Wait a minute, are they going to run what on the network? Um, the Hall of Fame ceremony this year. Yeah, yeah, the Hall of Fame ceremony is going to be on the network. It is entirely. Right. It is nice. All right, um, guys. Both be enjoying night, and I'm gonna cut you off for now. But hey, have a good night, guys. And I'll see you when I have to. I'll call you guys next week. All right, good night. All right, bro. Good night. Thanks for for coming by here. I got a Monica here. Monica Jones said, "Got a question of the night though. Uh, during the Brian and Kane match, is there a reason for no interference because his brother was there? Because that was a shock that Randy didn't even come to his aid during the Brian and Kane match. I think they wanted to kill that off." What? As fast as possible. What's Brian that? and Kane. Oh, yeah. And remember, we talked about how they're going to have this match with Triple H with the stuff with Kane going on. I right. think, Matt, you might even said the other night. And so mm-hmm. they killed it right away. They got it out of the way right away. And now it's on a, immediately when Triple H goes, WrestleMania. And he, like, said that. He was like, oh, wrestle, yeah, oh boy. Yep, that's it, It's going to be Mania. And what I'm worried is what they'll do at WrestleMania, like I said, is they try to pull a Sting Hogan thing. Where Kane goes out there with the administration and ends up helping Daniel Bryan. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm fucking, I'm so fucking pissed off. Like, I can't even, I'm not even asleep tonight, I don't think, because I'm so angry. I never um, sleep at night, anyways. Yeah. Um, uh, oh man, what else? And, and, and you know, for people to, to know that Daniel Bryan is so over and to know all this stuff and then to wonder why. You know what I mean? We need the the WWE title has to mean something and for them not to put Daniel Bryan in a match is ridiculous, I think. I think it's just stupid. It's just Triple H wanting to insert himself into this again. And uh yeah. The only thing they can make the main event worse is if they make Triple H a special guest referee. Oh my god. Although no, I want if hmm. go ahead. I want I want to hear this actually. Yeah, go ahead. No, I, I think it would ruin it. I think it would just, it wouldn't be pure. You know what I mean? You've got some good ideas, and I'd like to actually hear them. What do you mean? All right, set it up for me, and I'll knock it down. All right. Say he hit that match at WrestleMania. Batista hits, actually does hit Orton with a, with a full on Batista bomb. He goes for the three count, right. and out of nowhere, Triple H just hits him with a low blow and sets him up for, uh, for a pedigree. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if, how would that how would that make us care in one way or no, or another. It make us think that, that it would make us think that despite this Batista sucking off Triple H, he ain't getting squashed. Right, but then what's the point of bringing him in to begin with? Just to keep Randy Orton, just to keep Daniel Bryan away, and to keep Randy Orton the champion. Once again, that would bring heat to both Randy Orton and to Batista, and then by proxy to Triple H, so it brings heat on all three of them. So once again, it's a boo fest. Right. right. Um, Super Octane said, Joe, do you think WrestleMania will be hijacked by the angry fans this year? First of all, I hate that fucking term. Uh, and I said this to Aaron from the from No IQ. I said, you know, it's not going to be hijacked because fucking you can't hijack anything when you're just cheering for what you want. I mean, and if you want to say it's not what WWE wants... I mean, there's tons of times when people chant against that. So is it? It's not hijacking. I just don't consider it that. I understand why the term is being said. It would be hijacking if people were chanting something just for the fuck of it, yeah. just to just to disrupt the show. Yeah, like if not, they, if they were like Reese's PCs, Reese's PCs the whole yeah. time. Yeah, or like what they chant during boring matches when they chant like uh, JBL during boring matches. 
you know, right. like that's okay. That's a little bit of hijacking, but it's, it's, it's for, it's, it's for, for fun. You know, they're not doing it throughout the entire show. If they were chanting JBL or, or if they were wadding everyone, remember when they were wadding everyone, that was hijacking the fucking show. Every serious conversation that people were trying to have, just what, what? But, the, I, but the I, entire I, I, crowd. you could, I guess, make the argument then that they're not hijacking. They're just chanting what they want to share. You know what I mean? I can make right, that but, argument. It's not hijacking the show. Um, but, but before, personally, I, think, I, mean, I think the true hijacking the show is if you see a group of a group of like 20 fans jump the barricades. The, well, well this, yeah, and the, yeah, that's obviously hijacking. The thing I want the thing that just I just can't escape my mind. I can't get it out of my head is that they're I just can't stop saying it. They're putting a heel against another heel that's getting booed and for the WWE title. That's the title match. It, I don't when has that happened before? Has that ever happened for the WWE title where people boo someone they don't like them, but then the heel that that everyone's kind of booing him to, they're going to have a match together? When has that happened for the WWE title? Someone, WWE title? Hmm. somebody, give me an example. Like I don't have one. I don't Where's know Jared? of one. Need him, Jared? We know the answer to that question. Jared, he might up until a certain point, but he has kids in encyclopedia in and of himself. Right. Well, guys, youtubecom slash Joe Cronin Show. Thanks for going there. Thanks for liking. Thanks for clicking all the buttons and sticking the thumbs up my ass and subscribe. Of course, we're on Spectrum Gaming six one seven right now, but you got to go to. Uh, YouTube.com slash Joe Cronin Show, the real YouTube, uh, to be subscribed to see my daily videos and everything. Like Billy, who was pissed off that he missed out on Diamond Dallas Page being on the show the other day. Um, but you would have known about that if you had been subscribed on YouTube.com slash Joe Cronin Show. So you should have done it. <laughs> and that's my reasoning for it. So we will see you. I'm going to be making videos all week long talking about all kinds of crap. I've already got the wheel spinning in my head. And I want to thank you guys for being subscribed. Thanks for being here tonight. And uh, I think we're done. So, so long. Goodbye. And good riddance. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night, man. Thanks, Matt. We'll see you later. Take it easy. Later, Tosovich. Oh, yeah. I'll keep Tosovich here because he's a dirty little boy. Yeah, <laughs> well, we'll, we'll stick around. We'll just get rid of Matt. We'll stick around. How about that? <laughs> but that rude. It is rude, but I got more to say. I got more to. I, I'm really mad. I'm I'm really pissed off. Is what it is. Uh, I just. What if Daniel Bryan? I mean, no matter what happens, people are just gonna cheer for Daniel Bryan. Is that what WWE figured? Like, yeah, we'll just put him in. We don't care because they're gonna cheer for him anyway. Who cares? But I think it's all Triple H once again. I'm gonna take the hottest guy and I'm gonna get him at Mania to put him over to be in the spotlight, and then my boyfriends Batista and. Randy Orton are going to go ahead and, and have their match together because I promised them that because we're all boys and we're going to touch each other in the back later on. <laughs> Ric Flair is going to be behind me with some rub oil and we're going to do the, the, all, the, all the naughty things we ever wanted to do to each other because that's <laughs> <laughs> that's what they that's what they do and that's what I think is happening and that's a problem for me, what, what, what they're doing. And you can't have two heels against each other in a WWE championship match. You can't put two heels together and well, sell that. Like as I said, the, they might turn Randy Orton face by mania. I don't think they can tor turn Orton face at this point. I, I really, no, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sold on that happening on being able to happen. He he's turned face in a heartbeat in the past. I, I understand that. Um, I just don't, I don't believe it can happen. I just don't think you can turn him fucking uh f What if he face. starts saying to Batista, you're just some stupid movie star like The Rock thinking you can come in here for a weekend and be the champion. I may not be liked by the fans, but the point is I'm here every single day, day in, day in. You know, the whole, we've heard that spiel before. Yeah. What if Randy Orton takes that side? The fans are going to be like, you know what? I don't like Randy Orton, but he is a WWE wrestler. Maybe. Fuck you, Batista. Maybe. So, you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe, maybe. But maybe hard, uh, Cena, but maybe Randy Orton, even as a good heel, is kind of dull. So I don't, I don't think that that's going to happen. Um, I want to thank uh, Billy on the Ustream chat. We're live on Twitch TV, Ustream, YouTube, uh, on the uh, Spectrum Gaming channel of YouTube. Hey, look at Chris Rose. Guess who's back, Joe? Hey, Chris Rose, I know where you were, your, your, your dingle bear. You were watching the coma. So uh, go go back. Go suck the coma's ass. Um, Ooh. Mm, yeah. With, with jelly? Uh, 
you can make it worse and make a fatal four-way Orton Batista Triple H versus Cena. But none of that. I mean, you could, but that's not what's happening. So it's not it's even. It's we already know Cena's wrestling uh, Bray Wyatt unless he's really injured, which I like. You said, I don't think so. It was just an excuse to get him out of the building so Bray Wyatt could wrestle the Shield. Like Tosovich mentioned that he's the one who came up right. with it. And that's a great idea, um, and I think it makes sense. I think he can easily be saying it's popping. I felt a pop, you know, outside the ring to make it sound good. You know, good night, Monica. So I don't think there's there's. I mean, that's what happens. That's that's what people do. That's that's wrestlers do it all the time. And if people want to report on it like it's something real, that's fine. That's something you can do that. But but anyway, I want to thank Diamond Dallas Page again for being on the show. He's got the he's emailed me, so we want to just plug him again. If you want to get into DDP Yoga uh, by Diamond Dallas Page, go check it out, man. I'm going to be starting doing it soon. I'm going to post some videos on the YouTube channel, and you can check it out and see how you like it. I like it. Tosovich has done it. Uh, yep. ddpyoga.com go take a look at it uh, go look at Dallas's uh, YouTube videos too Diamond Dallas has some really fucking great funny little videos and trailers that he makes and stuff so go check those out because I enjoyed watching them uh, quite a bit and uh, guys you, if you stick around you'll see the replay of the show and uh, but we will see you later my laptop won't let me do both Chris says well, it doesn't matter. You picked one, you you bastard. You picked the the coma. <laughs> yeah, you, you picked pick us. You picked you pick Dingleberry coma. Pick that thumb up his ass. No, um, why don't you go? Uh, you know, you go listen to No IQ when you when we're done this too. Ooh. Uh, that's what I'm calling everybody out tonight. All right, being here we go. Rough tonight with everyone. I am rough tonight. You're, you're being a bully. You're pushing them into the lockers. I'm a bully. I'm a damn bully, and that's they get through your head. Chris, you missed. You missed. I the, hate bullies. <laughs> what happened to that? That was actually funny for a time, and then they just threw it out the window. Yeah, Rybaxel, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. I'm trying to find the the show from. Here we go. Wyatt versus. Here we go. I found it. Okay. Wyatt versus. Uh, Roman Reigns was good, even yeah. though it was interrupted. The way it was interrupted was still fine to me. I thought it was pretty cool. Seth Rollins was um, the man for that interruption. Yeah, I, Seth Rollins. The that. I gotta say though, man, I am so pissed off. I mean, the, really, this is. Well, yeah, but, I mean, I come mean, on. People get his balls kicked so hard that they fly out of his asshole. I I don't understand. I just I literally cannot wrap my head around the fact that. Um, yeah, it's a. It's like a com- it's, let's say a company makes a product and everyone fucking loves it when they buy it, and then the company decides to take it off the shelf and get rid of it. You're wasting your fucking time and you're losing your fucking money. What's you're happening? Dumb. I almost feel like they painted themselves this corner the and show. they were like, "We don't give a shit. We're doing this anyway." I'm starting to think that it's going to be a really good match, and we're going to shut up after WrestleMania. Let me call my cell phone. I'm still going to bitch oh, until yeah, then. we're gonna we're gonna think <laughs> all all the stuff that we said is going to be wrong. Yeah, Triple H no, versus Daniel Bryan, I think, is going to be an excellent match. I think they're really going to put it all, it's funny put out all the stops. Daniel Bryan even says, he's like, he's like, they're screwing me, you know? Which I thought was cool. Yeah, you'd think them screwing him would it's be cool. It's not just us that acknowledge yeah. that. No, they're finally really acknowledging, and I think they were waiting till pre-mania to do this, and this is all right. clearly premeditated. But I just... What do you think of the uh, Cesaro versus Big E? That was fucking awesome. Yeah, that was good. So much better than watching Cesaro versus uh, uh, Sheamus last night. I thought Biggie died from that neutralizer. That was ridiculous. How about when Biggie yeah. threw himself oh. into the post? Biggie he tried to jump over him, and then like um, Cesaro did that uh, backbreaker. Biggie Langston straight up speared a fucking post tonight. He destroyed that post. Oh man. yeah, that that whole match was just vicious. Story. Yeah, I liked it. I like vicious. And I think Emma, Emma, she freaking, she's pretty good, dude. She yeah, good I don't get that fucking thing she does, but her dance. Yeah, yeah. it's awesome. I, hate I, that. I don't even I like love it. it. I'm I, a big fan of of uh, the evolution. I don't like that, but that's okay. People like it, I and like she's dance, good, like so it's okay. You guys gotta watch NXT. Dude, I do watch NXT. Now I'm gonna watch it a whole lot when it's on the network. It's so much easier to watch. I'm poor. Let's talk about the network. Um, it's great. If, it well, is it's, fucking it's the, right. It's the not work right now. The not work. The WWE not work. Um. Xbox, it's not working. I can't log PS3, into Xbox. It's not working. Are you serious? Re- on both of them. 
I, I you just can't like, log in is the problem. I can't log they won't into let me it. Get it because I'm poor and I, I don't my job. They don't. It's free for a week. Hours. It's free for a week though. Are you shitting me? Yeah, it's free for a whole week. What are you fucking blind? Go to the website. <laughs> no, I'm not fucking blind. <laughs> this is what it's come to. This is what you. This is what Jaron did by not being here. <laughs> but yeah, for for me, it, it doesn't work on the PS3. I can log in, but none of the videos will load. And then on my phone which is a Note 3, so it's a fairly new phone. It Same thing. I can browse through all the videos, and it'll load the disclaimer before the video, and then it will lag for, like, maybe a minute and a half and then say video cannot be played. Wait, where do you get it? Like, if you're going if you're, like, for cable? WWE.com is the only place you can get it. All right, I'm going to put someone else on. Let's... 347, what's up? Yo. Hey, what's up? It was popping, gentlemen. It's me in New York, man. What's going on, man? Oh, New York, man. What's happening? What's happening? Haven't heard from you in a while. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, this is stash. You know, turning. So for two months. Oh, nothing. Just you know, ready to commit suicide. That's about it. <laughs> oh. All our, all our worst fears are being I'm realized. Ready. Into the phone. Into the phone. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think? What do you, what do you, what what's your take on all this? I mean, I know that. You know, most of what we basically said was going to happen has happened. Uh, here, here's my question for everybody. What the hell would CM Punk be doing if Brian hadn't have taken his place? Fighting Kane at Mania, apparently. I guess that was right. Did you hear right. CM Punk chant? That was funny. I, I actually mean, thought that CM Punk was going to fight Triple H at Mania. No, I think CM Punk was going to fight fucking... Um, he might have fought Kane. Kane. He was going to uh, punch a hoe. <laughs> he, he was going to fight yeah. Stephanie? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna punch Stephanie. <laughs> She's the hope. That's oh funny. my god. Well, I already knew everything that was gonna happen to Raw. Like, I yeah, it was a little predictable. It. Yeah, man, but um, what's up with the WWE Network? Yeah, I heard. Yeah, I heard, I heard that. Yeah. Was, I will let you know so that you know. So let's start off right now, real quick, before we uh, jump into these calls here, mm. with uh, the first thing I want to say is. Lesnar and, and Taker, as we've been talking about for six months now, and uh, I think we saw uh, it was beautifully done. It was exactly as we wanted it. We got what we wanted. We got what we thought we would get. They pulled it off. It was a 10. Lesnar and The Undertaker, it was a 10. Now, why Lesnar wasn't calling out The Undertaker, and The Undertaker came out to respond to uh, Lesnar, was something I did not expect. But, be that as it may, that's fine. That was the best segment of the night. Everything else was dog shit. Hulk Hogan came out, got me a little bit excited. The WWE app, we're going to talk about the WWE app today. Everything that's going on with that. Problems with Xbox. I still can't even get into Xbox to to listen to the WWE app. Um, I'm going to be joined by Chris Tosovich in just a second. My partner, with all you guys in your phone calls, we'll get to them. But I have a lot I want to talk about first. WWE, what the fuck are you doing? What in the blue hell are you doing over there? Do you even know what you're doing? I don't think you do. And I've never been, I haven't been this mad in so long. This is what we got. Triple H with all his little boyfriends. Randy Orton, his boyfriend. Batista, his boyfriend. Ric Flair's probably in the back jerking him off. His boyfriend. All his boyfriends get to have their match. And just like you always do, Levesque. Just like you always do, Paul, you have to take the hottest superstar and put him in a match with yourself and then have that guy call you out so the fans are behind it. You are a pussy, Triple H. And if I ever see you in New Hampshire, I'll kick you in the nuts. But you won't react because you got none. What's up, Tosovich? What's going on? How often are you in New Hampshire? I'm going to be going a lot, man, until I run into the... Over him and then, like... um. I did that uh, backbreaker. Biggie Langston straight up speared a fucking post tonight. He destroyed that post, oh, man. Oh, yeah. That, that whole match was just vicious. Story. Yeah, I liked it. I like vicious. And I think Emma, Emma, she freaking, she's pretty good, dude. She yeah, sounds good. Yeah, I dude. don't get that fucking thing she does, but. Her dance? Yeah, yeah. it's awesome. Dude, I, hate I, that. I, I don't even I like it. I love it. it. I'm I, a big fan of, of uh, the Emolution. I don't like that, but that's okay. People like it, I and like dance, she's good, like so it's okay. You guys got to watch NXT. Dude, I do watch NXT. Now I'm going to watch it a whole lot when it's on the network. It's so much easier to watch. I'm poor. Let's talk about the network. Um, it's great. If, it well, is it's, fucking... It's 
Right. It's the not work right now. The not work. The WWE not work. Um, Xbox, it's not working. I can't log in. Xbox. PS3, it's not working. Are you serious? On both of them. I, you just can't log in is the problem. I can't log they into it. They get it because I'm poor and I don't, my job, they don't. It's free for a week. Hours. It's free for a week, though. Are you shitting me? Yeah, it's free for a whole week. What are you, fucking blind? Go to the website. <laughs> no, I'm not fucking blind. <laughs> this is what it's come to. This is what you, this is what Jaren did by not being here. But yeah, for for me, it, it doesn't work on the PS3. I can log in, but none of the videos will load. And then on my phone, which is a Note 3, so it's a fairly new phone, it same thing. I can browse through all the videos, and it'll load the disclaimer before the video, and then it will lag for like maybe a minute and a half, and then say video cannot be played. Wait, where do you get it? Like, if you're going, if for your like for cable, WWE.com is the only place you can get it. All right, I'm gonna put someone else on. Let's three four seven. What's up? Yep. Hey, what's up? Yo, what's popping, gentlemen? It's me in New York, man. What's going on, man? Oh, New York, man. What's, ha- what's, oh, what's happened? I haven't heard from you in a while. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, there's been stash. You know, turning. So, what's up with you, man? Oh, nothing. Just, you know, ready to commit suicide. That's about it. <laughs> oh. All our, all our worst fears are being ready. I was going to no tell the joke, but then I was like, oh, shit, I might as well listen to it. What the hell are you going to say? Let me tell you something. Anyway. What what do you got? What do you th- what's going on? What did I think of Raw? Well, man, I thought it was fucking awesome, dude. I was jumping up and down like a little fucking kid, and when Hulk Hogan came out, when Undertaker came out, beat the shit out of Brock Lesnar. Um, I thought the Wyatt versus uh, Roman Reigns was good, even yeah. though it was interrupted. The way it was interrupted was still fine to me. I thought it was pretty cool. Seth Rollins was um, the man for that interruption. Yeah, I, Seth Rollins, the, that. I gotta say though, man, I am so pissed off. I mean, they, really, this is. Well, yeah, but, I mean, I mean, come on. People to get his balls kicked so hard that they fly out of his asshole. I I don't understand. I just I literally cannot wrap my head around the fact that. Um, it's, yeah, it's a, so it's like a it's, let's say a company makes a product and everyone fucking loves it when they buy it, and then the company decides to take it off the shelf and get rid of it. You're wasting your fucking time. And you're losing your fucking money. You're a dumbass. I almost feel like they painted themselves this corner and they were like, we don't give a shit, we're doing this anyway. I'm starting to think that it's going to be a really good match and we're going to shut up after WrestleMania, but I'm still going to bitch oh, until yeah, then. Oh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to think <laughs> all, all the stuff that we said is going to be wrong. Yeah, Triple H no, versus Daniel Bryan I think is going to be an excellent match. I think they're really going to put it all, it's funny put all the stops. Daniel Bryan even says, he's like, he's like, they're screwing me, you know? Which I thought was cool. Yeah, you'd think them screwing him would it's be. It's not cool. just us that acknowledge yeah. that. No, they're finally really acknowledging, and I think they were waiting till pre-mania to do this, and this is all right. clearly premeditated. But I just. What do you think of the uh, Cesaro versus Biggie? That was fucking awesome. Yeah, that was good. So much better than watching Cesaro versus uh, uh, Sheamus last night. I thought Biggie died from that neutralizer. That was ridiculous. How about when Biggie yeah. threw himself oh. into the post? Biggie. Had to jump. Let's start the raw review, and let's get crazy with your phone calls. Let's do this. I'm all kinds of pissed off tonight. So let's get this thing rolling and let's get naked. Well, not that, but.
Well, words cannot describe how angry I am right now. Words cannot describe how angry and infuriated I am. Turn the damn music off. I don't even want to hear it. Uh, let me turn the WWE uh, stuff down. Get the damn app. So now we get the post-show stuff. So I'm watching that in case anything significant happens on the post-show. That bastard. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what I'm going to do, Paul? I'm going to go to New Hampshire, and I'm going to hire some nice 18-year-old girl who lives around the corner for you to keep putting out ads in the paper uh, to, to babysit kids, and I'm going to hire her to go to your house, and she's going to pose as the babysitter, and then she's going to leave your kids alone. <laughs> She's oh, going to no. go into your house and say, yes, Mr. Levesque, I'll make sure they're in bed by seven. Don't worry. You and Steph go have a nice night out. And then you guys will leave all happy to go to dinner. But little did you know, I planted her and she's going to leave your kids alone. And I know one of the kids can't eat dairy. And guess what? She's going to feed her cheese. That's right, Triple H. She's going to feed her cheese. Lactose. Hashtag unattended lactose. <laughs> <coughs> All right. They have a house in New Hampshire, dumbass. Just so you know, in case you're you're wondering. Um, uh, no, me just someone else and someone, one of the, we're on live on youtube.com slash Joe Cronin show and spectrum gaming 617. We're also live on Ustream, live on Twitch and all over the place. And, uh, we're talking about WWE Monday Night Raw right now. I think I am so angry. Can, how, please tell me, please tell me how heel versus heel when nobody gives a shit is going to be a match and it's diminishing the WWE title so bad. There's there's two belts. We have two belts. But guess what? That doesn't matter because it's dog shit. That's all there is. Uh I'm just gonna I'm gonna take a phone call from someone you know and I know, and I think he's reporting for duty. <laughs> he is reporting for duty and his lamb shit. Lamb Holy shit. shit. Standing in at attention for you, oh. sir. What? <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Lamb shit. Nothing.